Hello, everybody! Welcome back! To more Dicey Dungeons! Well, let's actually play as the warrior here? I mean, I the gestures out will, will maybe go back and forth, like, going down the line, trying to get some of these episode unlocks actually out of the way for a little bit here, while jumping back and forth between them and the jester, just to kind of just to play around with them a little bit more to catch up for the fact that, uh, oh, what's this? Thank you, thank you all, and welcome. Welcome to another episode of the one, the only Dicey Dungeons. It's me. Here's your host for the evening, and for eternity, it's Lady Luck. Hello, hello, everybody. You're too kind. It's such a delight to be back in my secret dungeons of mystery. Let's welcome today's first contestant, the warrior. Whoa, I'm a dice. I'm a die. Yes, dear, that's how this works. Tell me, warrior, what secret emptiness has driven you to risk eternal imprisonment at the hands of fate? What? My dear, what are you playing for today? I'm playing to win a jet ski and to become the world's strongest man. Amazing! Well, you know what we say here in Dicey Dungeons. Luck might be against you, but it's too late to change your mind now. Is the warrior the tutorial? Interesting. That looks like it's the case. Ah, new contestant! Time to fire up the plasma blaster again. Drag your dice to sword and use it. Interesting. So yeah, we are indeed going through a bit of a tutorial. That's good to know that there is one in the game now. Not that it's inherently, like, that challenging to figure out. Oh no, you rolled a one. It's okay. This happens from time to time. Yeah, we're a warrior. We get the combat roll. Try again. Try again. It's trying to make me gamble. I wouldn't have re-rolled the four, probably. So he's going to get me with a, a big old bop. Click on Fury to use it. Cool. I wonder if it's going to let me take over the run normally. Eat apples to restore. Yeah, yeah. So I wonder if it is the fact that the warrior is just the tutorial. Needs four or less, so what? Let me guess. We're going to have to reroll this. Cool. It's a pretty nice set of weaponry. You know, with a nice build. So is it going to teach us about all the things burn everything? Sure. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. Like, is that an optimal build or optimal way to do that turn? Maybe not, but it just doesn't really matter. You receive an extra die. And rearrange your equipment. Oh, hey, this looks a little bit nicer. This looks a little bit more snappy. I didn't check that out in the last time because the Jester doesn't have the normal backpack. This is, oh, this looks good. This looks really good. It definitely made it more snappy. The Jester. Jester changes equipment every turn. Hey there, friends. Here's something you might want to know. It's time for you to die. <laughs> okay. If you want, you can see what the enemy's moves are. All right. So do we get to... We do whatever we want now? Seems to be. Kind of want to roll a four here if we can. You know what? We'll take that. Burn one of his die. Of course, we burn the one die. <laughs> we burn the one die that's not usable. Fair enough. Do we have any? We don't really have any uses for ones that much. So we can bump that. Sword, battle axe, matchstick. Flick one shot. None of this really matters. Is he is he cycling through it so we can learn what all of the effects do? That's adorable. That's adorable. Whoop that ah, dang nabbit! It's supposed to go in the matchstick. Burn the die. Okay. Is he gonna teach us what curse curse does and stuff like that too? Can he give us the whole shebang? All right. 
You wouldn't die, would you? You wouldn't make yourself die? Yeah, it's teaching us weekend. I love the new effects down there, too. I'm liking this update. It's just, it's a really nice update. Worth the wait, worth the wait. Guess it wasn't time for you to die after all. Don't worry, though. All things come to those who wait. There's a little bit of story elements now, like, in a way. Like they were saying. All right, do we take over now? Yep, we take over. We got ourselves a normal run now. So what do we want to do? I think we want to go towards the chest and the apple. It just opens up options for us. So we do get to keep all that. We have five or six. That was dumb. So we gotta burn the... Burn the baby squid. Make some calamari. He's going for it. He doesn't care. He's gonna hit me. Joke's on you. You activated my fury card. Uh. Okay. Not quite what I. Quite what I wanted. Doesn't. It doesn't matter though. It's. It's so greedy. You get like. I get something in my head where I really want to just de destroy them. Spike shield. I, I do really like Boomerang, but I just, I very much value the ability to have shielding and health. Why did I even try to pick that up? I wouldn't have wanted that if I could get it. Weak shock. So we can give ourselves a five shield there. Honestly, I don't want to re-roll any of that just for the chance of getting a six instead of a <laughs> instead of a five. How dumb would that be? Same general idea here. I like this build. It's it's nice. It's clean. It's simple. It's cool. It's hip. It's laid back. We got shields for days. And this ding dong is dead. So we get to exchange something here. Oh no, this is a shop. Double your poison. No, thank you. It's not the most exciting, but broadsword is just better than the sword. So we might as well. The question is then like, what would we do if we got the heal? Which one of these would we want to get rid of? Honestly, maybe we'll just buy the heal because the upgraded ver- Can we- Can we? Yeah. The upgraded version of the shield takes it from a two-slot item into a one-slot item. So we will maybe upgrade that. We'll, we'll take a look. It'll depend. Give me four, baby. Give me four, baby. Shield a bit. All right. Yeah, this, this build's nothing fancy, but uh, it's all good. It's gonna do what? Four damage, six damage, okay. Give me six. Wow, I freaking deal. Gotta remember we could use our spike shield to do damage too. What are the options? Plus three, that's not that exciting. You know what? We can make the bat. Let's make the battle axe smaller instead. Good deal. Direwolf has kind of been a, historically a run ruiner. Sometimes even going as far as to be a run killer. So we'll see. We'll see. Well, kind of like a five. Yeah, you know what. Shields aren't going to be as good against the Dire Wolf because he has poison, which does pierce our shields. I don't know that we really want to care that much about it then. Spike Shield has a max of five? I didn't know that. Wait, it didn't before. They changed that. They nerfed it. Rip. Rip. Rather do the damage than put up the shield for the same reason I said. I mean, yes, we do take damage from Claw, but... No, 
that big a deal. It's two damage. So we kind of want to fish out... Fish out that, uh... That curse. Oh, boy. Ah! Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We don't need to really destroy him. We just need to win. Extra die. I love that new extra die graphic. It's really good. Yeti weak to fire. Two's good enough. Okay, so shield. We don't need to heal, so we might as well try to fish for a better battle axe. Do the same. He's the same. He was not changed. There's, there was a lot of changes. There was a lot of changes, though. Oh, you son of a gun. Let's do our rerolls first. Okay. Definitely doing that. Sure. Shield is seven. He's not really going to do that much to us, I don't think. He's going to do basically nothing. Okay. If we don't win, I'll be shocked. This turn. Okay. Smooth sailing. This is coming up warrior. Dear God, this run has been so much easier than the Jester's. So much chocolate cookie. It's not Girl Scout cooking anymore? I want to try that. I also want to try a chocolate cookie right now, please. Rat King. Should I just get him out of the way? Looks like we kind of got to fight him all if we want to level up. Let's just try to get him out of the way. We need to burn him down quick. Okay. We could do 12 damage. We could spike shield, but he does mostly... He does all poison damage. A shield has no value to us. So, you know what we'll do? We'll do that. That. And we'll just sit on that. So next turn we can double up something. Hopefully, I mean, we could do 8 damage. So we could do 16 with our starting thing. Or we could do a maximum of 16 with our double damage thing. Either way, we're going to do 16. God, this guy sucks. Oh my god, you dirty, dirty rat. Double that. Can't even do this as much as I would kind of like to. Really did that suboptimally, but it's all good. We could have done, what, one more damage if we did our die differently? Two more damage if we would have done our die in uh, the opposite order there? If two damage ends up mattering, I'll be bummed, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, uh, we're fine. 10 damage. We can do 10 damage in our sleep. We don't have our heal, otherwise... You know what? That's why it's good to have the heal, because we could use the, that turn. We could have used it to set ourselves up better for the next fight. Claw. Do blank damage, add two poison. No, 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 no. We'll see, we'll see. That might be dumb. I might want to go back for the shield, but we'll see. Get a double something. Might as well double that. If this gets a... If we can get a six, that'd be wild. We do want to burn him down fairly quickly. We either want, you either want to burn him down or block all of the the original rocks. Bloop, bloop. Good. 
that we are. Easy enough. So we got the bully out of the way, one more fight, and then we should level up, right? Uh, level four. Okay, he's a level four. There we go. Smooth, man, smooth. Sorry, did I say smooth man? I meant snowman. So we just want to definitely double that. Okay, that's pretty annoying. Don't really care that much about the heals. What happens if we do that? Oh, minimum two. Don't care that much about the heals because as long as we live, which I think is very, very likely, the snowman is, is rough just because he can chip you down. But if he's the final one you have to fight on your, your level, I don't find it to be nearly as bad. Honestly, like, there's... If we weren't gonna kill there, there's no point to go for that. We could have gone for a heal. But, the, like I said, we're gonna heal up to full when we beat this man anyway. So, it doesn't really matter. But we could have... We could have beat him in a way that looked better. A more... Ahem, optimal... Way. Bash was healed. Do shield damage. We... We're probably gonna pass on that. Recover health, reduce poison? Oh, baby, that's cool. That is really good. That's really good. Oh, my God, I'm so glad they added that to the game. I'm tempted to do it just in case. It's like a preventative thing. Yes, it might not matter at all. No deal. It might not matter at all because we might not run into a poison enemy, but we also might. You know, they're, they're frequent enough. We're on floor five. This is normally the boss floor, isn't it? But it's because we had a tutorial floor as the warrior. I'm trying to think about the best pathing here. Level up in 18. Five, 10, 18. So we do have to beat all of them if we want to level up again, which we probably will, but let, let's go towards the crack and go towards the ability to uh, to level ourselves or uh, upgrade ourselves. Right. I feel like we can probably get rid of nudge. We're not truly using it that well. Honestly, just re-roll these and work from there. Big damage. That is it. I love that little wiggly spirally kind of noise. Oh boy. You really need to get the Kraken as fast as possible. Six, good deal. So. Boom, boom. Do we want to heal? I mean, yeah, oh yes. <laughs> the answer is no! I mean, we did it in the optimal order for the curse. Like, in a way, we just got unlucky. It's fine. We'll probably be able to heal ourselves just fine here. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. It's fine. It's only three damage. Let's just, let's try to get the Banshee out of the way. We're, we're level five. Let's see what we can do. Banshee been changed at all? Freeze if you roll a six. Oh, she looks the same. Give me six. I want to be greedy. Greedy, greedy. Oh, Hit. 
Just don't don't be greedy with our health. Just keep on healing ourselves. It's fine. I mean, curse is very annoying. Don't get me wrong. Okay, that worked. Uh, heal first. No curse at all. I was just fully. I was. My face was just halfway halfway shut my eyes my mouth my everything i was like eh. i really was prepared to get quite annoyed so it looks like we can we got the roll off before the that's a bug i think <laughs> i'll take it so we can't get the chocolate cookie and heal i mean we just right like, there's no way we can, we can do that, though. It's fine. It's good enough. 32 out of 40, we take those. And back to the upgrade. We can upgrade something here, or we could leave and upgrade something else. You know, I think we want to upgrade this. Being at 9 instead of 12, I feel like that can make a pretty big difference. You can buy an equipment upgrade. You can't upgrade straight from the backpack. Okay. Uh, definitely tempted to replace Nudge with like Spike Shield and upgrade it. Oh, they changed it. The upgrades no longer uh, make it one. Um. Try that out. Why not? Seems good. So we could go for heals beforehand. I'm not really worried about him. But at the same time, it's, it's going to all be the same health bar anyways. We might as well do it now, right? So we could just guarantee we don't get bobbed. For to die. I like that it can be literally anything and it's reusable. It's, it's pretty handy. Is his build changed? Uh, he got a different build. Restore two health, you roll six. Yeah, it's a completely different build. Give me a six. It's fine. It's fine. We, we could have healed from that at some point. We could have changed that around. We could probably could have done that more optimally for our next fight. But like I said, we, we level up in five. It doesn't really matter. We're going into this with full health. We're going to leave this if we win with full health. So it's all good. Weak to fire. Does that mean also weak to burn damage? Probably. Let's try it out. Cost two. I didn't see. Okay, so battle axe. Sure. Checking the damage. Four. Yeah, she does take double damage from it. It's pretty good. Okay. Max health. This is looking pretty clean. So far, so fine. Easy run. Not a not a hard character. If an enemy rolls blank, that dice is locked. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's see what the boss is. It's the champion. She's weak to shock. We don't have anything that can shock, though. She... You know what? 
she has a lot of shield. So going for poison might be wise. If it goes through it. No, at the same time. No, 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 no. Because. We want her shield to die because otherwise she does more damage to us. I think we just... I don't know how to pronounce that name. She got a new name. It's no longer just the champion. AFP? I don't know. Unless she has a different build. She's got the same build. Okay. So. Ideally, we want a six here somewhere. It's fine. So this would be the highest amount of damage there. Big boom. Good deal. So it needs doubles. It's fine. We get our fury here. Honestly, we can just do it right away, right? Fury. Broadsword. Here's the thing, though. We want to burn our die or get ourselves ready for... Let's burn. Let's burn. This way if she wants to uh, shield first. No. No, that, did, that didn't quite work how I was hoping. Dear God, she's so scary right now. Uh... Just, she need She can't have that. Can't have that shield up. I mean, we, we're we totally fine, I think. Get shield gripped a 6, 5 and 6, 11. I mean, that's pretty nasty. But we got ourselves our fury here. We are pretty smooth sailing strong here. That's that's a dead... That's a dead a AOP. Aof. Yuff. Yuff. Let's humiliate her a little bit. Can we roll a 1? <laughs> shouldn't I, I shouldn't humiliate her if it means we might lose because I want to get the check mark <clears throat> good deal we win congratulations you win you finished the episode hey we did it look at that wins one oh and it has that that's great and it has how many wins that's great I love it I'm excited to uh to get these all filled out now but that is going to do it for this episode of Dicey Dungeons here of the point sixteen update. As I said in the last one, this is an update that is out for anybody. If you want to buy the game on itch.io, itch there's a link in the description. It's $750 US dollars when the game is uh, not out on Steam or out in early access or whatever on Steam. You will get sent a Steam key for purchasing it on itch.io as well. So you'll if you buy it now for that price, you get the game at a cheaper price and you get it on steam when it's out so you kind of get to play the game early and then you also will get it on steam when it's available there that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching thank you thank you see you next time